喜发财，四季平安。祝孟南梅，새해복많이받으세요 These are all ways you can say Happy Lunar New Year. This year, you can start celebrating on February 7th, which is the first day of the first new moon of the year. After that, the holiday can last up to 15 days. There are lots of ways to celebrate, including making and eating special foods like egg or spring rolls, dumplings said to have good luck packaged inside, rice cakes, oranges, and fish, wearing your best clothes. And decorating with red for happiness and gold for prosperity. Children in China and Vietnam get red envelopes with lucky money for the new year. In Korea, they also get newly minted money as a sign of new beginnings. In China, schools and homes are cleaned from top to bottom to sweep out bad luck. Flowers and live blooming plants symbolize rebirth and new growth. Decorations are elaborate and include hangings that ward off evil spirits. Everyone chips in, making paper cutouts. Door hangings might include "Happy Children of Fortune" posters. On the walls, you might see a fortune god poster like this. You'll also see this character on a lot of walls. It is "Fu," which means fortune, good luck. Normally, the character looks this way.、Uh, however, on Chinese New Year, usually you will see the decoration around the house. This way, because upside down in Chinese is the homonym to Fu arrives, Fu 到了 so And it's not that because、arriving. absolutely, it doesn't mean that people don't understand and cannot read the character. In English, of course, we do have homonyms such as well, fair, fair, like a bus fare versus a game that is fair.、Mm -hmm. But in Chinese, especially at the holiday, they tell us what to eat, what not to do. Tell me about some of that. Yeah, it's because、um, Chinese is such that、um, with a little bit tone change,、uh, the characters actually would be different. Fish is yu in Chinese, but also having overabundance, it's also yu. What are some other lucky foods? One is orange. Orange sounds ju zi, very similar to ji. Ji means auspicious. And the other one is apples, ping guo, similar to ping an, you know, which means. Peaceful or peace, but you don't want to share a pair. Pair sounds 离子 so 分离 means separation. So you don't really want to have separation from your loved ones. You told me that on the Chinese New Year, parents should not scold their children, no matter what they do. Why is that? Yeah, especially if they accidentally break something that's sui, you know, broken into pieces. In Chinese, that's called sui. And so right away we say sui sui ping an because sui also means year. And so right away people would say, oh, every year there will be peace. <laughs> As you've heard, this is the year of the rat. The lunar calendar goes in twelve-year cycles, represented by twelve animals. Which one are you? Of course, if you have a brother or sister born this year, they will be rats too. No matter what your animal sign, Lunar New Year is a wonderful time to celebrate with family and friends. In China, after fifteen days. Which coincides with a full moon, the celebrations culminate with the Lantern Festival. Everyone goes out into the streets. Red lanterns are everywhere. As with the beginning of the holiday, firecrackers go off to scare away evil spirits. Happy New Year!